What's up everyone? So I figured I'd do a quick little review video of these Eagle Eye clearance lights, accent lights, Raptor wannabe lights, whatever you want to call them. I don't care. Um, got them off eBay. This set in particular has been on my truck for the last two weeks. They've lasted five days out of that. They uh, basically started flickering and all that after we had a rainy, sleety, really gross day. It's uh, winter here in Canada, but it's been really mild. So, you know, with all the muck and all that stuff flying around, uh, these pretty much, I guess, got wet and started to flicker and start failing. As you can see, this one here in particular has started to rust and basically rot out inside. This one as well, showing it in the left top corner on the chip. This one as well on the right bottom corner on the chip. This one here on the entire right side chip is showing that it's got water penetration inside, which shows that their claims of being waterproof, um, I believe IP67 or something they called it, is completely bogus. They're not waterproof whatsoever because, like I said before, this is the second set I've had. The previous set I had also lasted about four, four to six days. I washed my truck, directly sprayed them. Uh, due to their claim of uh, saying they're waterproof, I didn't really give any worry, and they failed right after. This one would have, uh, this one started going, the other two started going, and then this one was pretty much dead a couple of hours after I uh, finished washing my truck on that first set. This is a second set. I won't be buying a third set. Um, waste of money. Sure, they're only five, ten bucks for a package of I think ten or fifteen or twenty. Usually is what they sell them as. But uh, like I said, waste of money. Why bother? And uh, these are the last two that I have. Is what they look like. Just basically a small little LED dual chip screw on. Slide that in through a hole. Zip that on the back with these insanely skinny thin gauge wires which are an extreme pain to solder I'll tell you that right now and everything on here is soldered properly heat shrunk and all that and even these these ones here have uh, resistors in them as well so I gave it a try with resistors same thing so it's definitely the water penetration that killed them these are the ones here that I have I'll be uh, probably installing these inside just out of curiosity I don't want to just chuck them out um, like I said, last two I have, so I'll be tossing them inside the vehicle somewhere, accent lighting of some sort, and see if they last any longer inside. That's probably only the best bet for them. Inside use, inside of the box or something, if you have an enclosed box, or if you have a motorhome, accent lighting in there somehow, on the side of the door, etc. You know, whatever you can think of, and wherever you want to put these, because like I said, they just screw in. So drill a hole, slip them in, screw them from behind, and you're good to go. So that's my review of these not really worth it at all um, I'll give you the part number that I used to get these ones that's the part number there they may differ for other websites like I said you can get them on eBay etc not worth it um, your best bet is to try Princess Auto Harbor Freight something like that for clearance lights for trailers those are definitely waterproof I've had good luck with those in the, in the past I will be uh, installing those right now actually that I have and then seeing how well those work and I'll give a review video on those as well uh, probably in about two weeks time see if uh, these match up to this quality or not or if they're uh, any better which I pretty much assume they will be much better so with that that's my review on these eBay Eagle Eye lights don't waste your time don't bother getting them try them if you want but I definitely don't recommend putting them on the outside of a vehicle where they're going to be hit with water or anything like that. So with that, until next time, cheers guys.